Another video surfaced last week involving Fullerton police officers in the downtown area. The attorney for the man who took the video we're about to show you says the incident cast some doubts on the truthfulness, truthfulness of some Fullerton police officers. Reporter Baha Eldon has the story. The video shows a routine takedown of some intoxicated individuals in downtown Fullerton. One of them resists arrest and gets some rough treatment in response. The man's friend who's recording the incident with his camera objects and he's warned to stay back. He keeps recording when the officer you see here strikes him. He said he had bruises. Uh, he was not hospitalized. He had no broken bones. He was not bleeding, no stitches, nothing like that. So fortunately, he was not seriously injured. Attorney Dave Borsari represented the man with the camera who was charged with interfering with police, assaulting an officer, and resisting arrest. What has Borsari bothered is that the officer claimed the guy with the camera assaulted him by jumping on his back and choking him. He went on to document that in his official report and repeated those claims on the stand. Uh, the problem here is that after the mistake of hitting my client for no good reason occurred, at that point, what the police should have done was said, we just made a mistake, said they're sorry to my client, and let him go. That would have been the end of the situation. Instead, what happened here was they charged him with a false crime, wrote faulty reports, came into court and lied about it. And that's completely unacceptable because while the hit happens in the heat of passion, the latter events happen after deliberation and calm, and that I do not forgive. And the jury confirmed it with its not guilty verdicts across the board. Borsari says no one from the DA's office or Fullerton PD was willing to stop the prosecution of the man who was able to prove his innocence. We placed a call to the Fullerton Police Department seeking comment, but we have not heard from them. This is Baja Eldon reporting. We shot that interview at the location where Kelly Thomas was allegedly beaten to death at the hands of Fullerton PD.